Well, tonight, the message of good night light stretching far beyond planet Earth. We've told you about this Rhode Island tradition before. Every night at Hasbro Children's Hospital, patients flash lights from their rooms at 830. In return, members of the community outside the hospital flash back. It's a reminder to the young patients that they are never forgotten. And now they're being remembered on a much larger scale. Eyewitness News reporter Caroline Goggin joins us now from Hasbro with the details that are new tonight. Good Night Light celebrated its third birthday back in December. And for tonight's Magic Minute, kids on the fifth floor got to experience a greeting like they've never seen before. Take a look. Flying 250 miles above Earth aboard the International Space Station. Greetings to everyone at Hasbro Children's Hospital in Providence, Rhode Island. NASA astronaut Ann McLean, a member of the Expedition 58 and 59, with a special message for Hasbro Children's Hospital. Good night lights from the International Space Station. More kids are feeling better because more people are shining lights this way. Steve Brosnahan is the creator of Goodnight Lights and the reason this greeting came to be. A friend of Steve's works for NASA. He's a Rhode Island guy and a big fan of Goodnight Lights. He said, uh, let, me, let me see what, what's possible. That was three months ago. The idea had to get NASA clearance, then astronaut McLean was selected, and finally this video made its way back down to Earth. It's a brief two minutes, but it's a very powerful two minutes. So to all of you on Earth shining a light for this magic minute, keep up your efforts. Everyone on the ISS wishes you a wonderful evening on our beautiful planet Earth. Inside the playroom on the fifth floor Wednesday night, a handful of patients got to take it all in. Steve came into my room and was like, hey, do you want to come see this video from the space station? Max Rome is a student at North Kingstown High School. Last fall, he dislocated his arm playing football and has had complications ever since. That's what brought him here to Hasbro, but his timing wasn't too bad. Wednesday night, he got to watch this little project from the smallest state reach out into orbit. I think it means like everyone really cares, you know, like I think it's just a really good thing that there's people out there that are trying to like make those kids like happy and make sure that they're like doing good in their recovery. Steve Brosnahan tells me that many Providence businesses have signed on to Goodnight Lights in the last few months. He says between community participation and videos like this one from the International Space Station, he hopes it is just the sign of big things to come. Reporting outside Hasbro Children's Hospital, I'm Caroline Goggin, Eyewitness News.